Hello there YouTube, what's going on? This is Necrostevo, and it's time for a narrated Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. I haven't posted a regular one in a little while, so something a little bit uh, more standard for you today. Today's match is against Robotnik is Sexy. Uh, he too has a YouTube channel, which you need to go check out. I implore you, he posts fantastic content. Not only is it very entertaining, but he just has a much more unique style unto his narrations. Um, so definitely go check him out. I will leave his link in the description. Uh, this battle, I kind of just had this team in my battle box because I wanted to try out Mega Glalie and um, also Frostlass on the same team for some reason. Uh, of course, those two together like that are pretty weak to quite a few things, especially Stealth Rock. So I just wanted to bring a few things to support that. And then he kind of brought a mix of OU and uh, lower tier Pokemon. I was really worried about Tyranitar going into this match. I knew I kind of had to lead with Starmie if I wanted to use it. And since he led with Diancie, I'm just going to go for a Surf. Uh, it's Life War boosted. If uh, he wants to switch out into something, then I'll get the Analytic boost too. So uh, I do fortunately just end up taking out the Diancie. Um, I don't know if he expected me to have Surf. A lot of Starmies run uh, Scald, which I don't think that would have picked up the KO necessarily. Um, since he went out into Diggersby like that, I know that it's Scarfed, which is good to know. Um, that means I don't have to deal with Choice Bandit U-Turns. But I don't really have a switch in for Scarf Diggersby, so I just go out and Thunderous predicting the U-Turn. And he actually goes out into Tyranitar. And here it was a 50-50. I knew that he knew that I knew that he had Protect. Um, excuse me, Pursuit, rather. And so I figured, well, I don't really have anything to hit him with. I couldn't knock it, use a knockoff. But I was hoping that he would just go for Crunch, expecting me to stay in and try to hit him. But he went for Pursuit, so I lost Thunderous and it didn't really do anything. That's not too bad because it does give me a free switch into Pangoro. Um, and Pangoro with the Salt Vest is just really, really uh, strong to face here. It has, on uh, this particular build, I think I got this one from uh, Eshamus um, or Eric. And uh, this is my adamant one that he traded me because he just had an extra Mold Breaker one. And so I get to throw knockoffs around and drain punches when necessary with Gunk Shot and um, Ice Punch for coverage. Here I predicted him to go for superpower, so I went on to Frostlass. That was a huge mistake because he just went for his own knockoff to deprive probably Pangoro of an item or my switch in. And that sucked because I had Focus Sash. And now I have to. Um, now I don't have anything to switch in on Diggersby using Return or Quick Attack. Um, this does give me a free switch into Mega Glalie. I get to Mega Evolve. Of course, Glalie does outspeed uh, um, the uh, Malamar before. The Mega Evolution, so I felt okay going for Return, and I knew I did. I couldn't KO the Conkledur with the Return, uh, so I just went for Explosion because I really needed this thing out of the way. <laughs> and on the off chance he switched on into something else, it will probably KO it as well. Um, if you're using Mega Glalie and you're getting less than two KOs a match with it, you probably should look at how you're using it because you should always get one um, Revenge Kill at least and one Explosion KO. So. Uh, here, I predicted him to go for U-Turn. We actually both sat in there for a little while. I was really worried he would just go for Return or Earthquake. Um, but I just wanted to predict him to go for U-Turn. And even if he went out into Tyranitar, the knockoff would not be appreciated because I would not only get to see the item that he had, uh, but then I could follow it up with a Drain Punch or something like that. Um, but he does uh, get a crit with the U-Turn. I don't know if that mattered or not. This is a pretty bulky... Pangoro, but he's able to come right back in and hit me with return. So I don't know if it mattered or not that he got that crit. He goes for another return because he is locked into it because of Scarf. I really wanted to coil up, but I didn't know how much damage return would do. Um, and I'm happy I didn't coil up because uh, I'm able to just finish him off with an earthquake there. I get a critical hit, but an earthquake and a return at max attack would have likely still done enough damage to KO the Diggersby. Tyranitar comes in. He is able to take a single... Earthquake and he goes for Pursuit. I don't know if he just went for Pursuit expecting me to switch or if he just didn't have any other good coverage moves. Uh, but that's fine by me because I don't have any reason to switch and my other Pokemon is Starmie. So uh, I, I was just completely fine staying in there and going for the Earthquake. But that was a really, really fun battle. I think I get a lot of momentum just KOing Diancy right at the beginning. Um, interesting how we went back and forth with the knockoff shenanigans there. But in any event, I digress. That was a good battle. Please go check him out. Please go subscribe to him. 
he has a huge backlog of videos and he posts very frequently. So uh, I enjoyed the battle with him very, very much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all later. Alrighty, bye bye guys.